Hi everyone, I'm Janice from Tennis Training. Today I want to talk to you about what to do if someone gets a burn. So if someone gets a burn, the first thing we want to do is cool the area. So if I have a burn here, we want nice cool water to hit here and run down over the burn. And it's really quite important that we cool it for a good 10 minutes because that's how long it stops for the burning to go further. So 10 full minutes, cooling it with the coldest water that you can bear. If it feels too cold, then what we can do is add a little bit of warm water in so that it's cool water, not cold. And it will still do the job, but not hurt so much that you can't keep your hand under there for 10 minutes. Whilst we're cooling it, that's when we want to take off any rings, any watches, any other jewellery. Because what happens with burns is they tend to swell, and if it swells while we're wearing the jewellery, then it's going to be much harder to get it off. Once we've cooled it for 10 minutes, we want to cover it up. But it's quite important that we don't cover it up with a bandage, because if there is a blister and a blister burst, then what can happen is that can actually stick to the burn. So what we use is cling film. So we take the cling film and the first piece we throw away because that's been in contact with the air and other bacteria. Then we unroll it and we put it onto the burn in layers, backwards and forwards. So we go one way and then the other way and then back again so that we've got about three or four layers covering it. It's quite important that we don't just go round and round because that actually makes it really tight. By doing it this way and then holding it in place top and bottom with a bandage, it means that if it did swell, we can take it off. Seek medical treatment if it's needed. If you're not sure is it bad enough to seek treatment, then phone 111 and they'll be able to help you work that out. Thank you.